Hi guys, I'm Art. My wife Zina and I are on staff at New Life Church. Thanks for joining me on our back deck. This is one of my favorite places to be. Our scriptures today are found in Psalms 112, 1 through 3. It says, Hallelujah, blessed man, blessed woman who fear God, who cherish and relish His commandments, their children robust on the earth, and the homes of the upright, how blessed! Their houses brim with wealth and a generosity that never runs dry. These are awesome promises. You know, if God created me and blessed me, if I was created to be fruitful and to multiply, and if I'm not better today than five years ago, then there's probably something in me that needs to be confronted and changed. We have to learn to prosper, to become healthier people, but how do we do that? Well, you know how to do that. Uh, read the Word, get quiet and listen to God, listen to great sermons and teachers, and we have a lot of great teachers around uh, New Life Church. The second thing I thought about is just being intentional. You can fall into debt, but typically you can't fall out of it. Even if you get a whole lot of money, uh, suddenly, like through an inheritance or maybe you hit the lottery, if your soul isn't prosperous and if you don't know God's way of handling it, all that money will go away. Did you know that some wid that most widows on average, no matter the size of their inheritance, go through all of their money within 18 months? That's the truth. Um, you have to learn discipline so that the blessings of God won't crush you. It takes a plan. And once you have a plan, you will experience freedom. That's, that's the whole truth of this whole thing. And it's important. Stay encouraged. Make it simple. Just tell your money where to go every time you get paid. There are several people around New Life uh, that can show you a great plan. The next thing I thought about was just be sure you're hearing God. Study what the Bible says about living a blessed and happy life. Psalms 112.2 says we are to fear God. And that just means we're to honor Him. Look at what gets paid first when you get, when you get your paycheck. Uh, what you pay first is usually what you honor the most. Get a mentor. Get in community. Andy Stanley says, show me your five closest friends and I'll show you your destiny. Find someone that can show you how they did it. Just be humble and learn. Learning from my mistakes mean you don't, means that you don't have to make them. Don't be ashamed that you don't have it all together. No one has it all together. Uh, by the way, just think about what do you listen to all the time? What do you consume the most? Uh, what are you learning that will make you better this time next year or the next five years? Are you happy with who you are becoming? Just put Jesus in the middle of all that you are. The last thing I thought about is don't quit when you mess up. We all mess up. I have made money mistakes. I was stupid with money most of my life, but I've changed. So own your stuff. Ask God to help you make some changes. And then relax. When we ask Him and seek Him first in these important things, He answers. And I've noticed that when my friends get a plan, they start honoring God, you know, by tithing, paying off debt, uh, that He shows up. And what should take a long time suddenly changes. According to this passage, when we fear and honor God, the outcomes are amazing. So here's the promise. The homes of the upright, how blessed. Their houses brim with wealth and a generosity that never runs dry. That's Psalms 112, 2 through 3. So what? I mean, our homes will brim with wealth and prosperity and generosity, I mean. That's the promise. So relax and trust God. Learn to honor God. And there's terrific peace and blessing in this life. In uh, Matthew 6, 33, we read, but seek first the kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So let's pray together. Father, I bless these people. I ask you in Jesus' name to cover them, to teach them, to help them to have courage and discipline, to learn your way. And Father, we thank you that your way is choosing life and is a happy life. Thank you for this. In Jesus' name, amen.